Okay, guys. Clearly, I need to learn the difference between the pause button and the stop button. So, we'll pick up with Sagittarius. Here we go. Anyhow, um, okay. Sagittarius. The message is for Sagittarius. Dealing with water signs, fire signs, earth, and air. Messages for Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius dealing with water signs. Messages for Sagittarius dealing with water signs. What are the messages? Queen of Hearts. This could be Cancer. Could be Scorpio. Or, uh, what's the other one? Pisces. But typically, Queen of Hearts is Cancer. Two of Hearts. So you having a successful relationship with your water sign, Sagittarius. Nice. Eight of Cups. Um, could be having visitors in your home, walking away from another situation. To have this uh, Four of Spade, you could be resting. Your psychic abilities are heightened toward the opposite sex. There is prosperity and uh, success here. Wow, sick, yep. Success in business and home. Might be some legal issues. Or you might be going through a divorce. What I say? Ten of Pentacles, there's the relationship. You, um, you had to walk away from this relationship to get to the Queen of Cups. And the two of hearts, that successful relationship, Sagittarius. All right, so what are the messages for my Sagittarius dealing with other fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ten of clubs, six of pentacles, five of swords. Problems in the relationship, arguing, fuss and fight and reversal. You try to move away from the turbulence, but then you go right back to it. Fighting. Burden. Mm. Could be dealing with a fire sign with earth in their chart, or maybe they just have those characteristics, those mannerisms. Um, very focused on the m material gain in life and the assets and monetary gain. You could be hesitating before making decisions, but needing to grieve the process. Rush in and give your truth, but you're still feeling, someone's still feeling stuck, mentally stuck and stagnant due to possibly a love affair or a business relationship not approved of sleepless restless nights mental anguish it's just but having a new foundational start only having this start if you choose a different path for some of you it's choosing to leave behind partnership and engage in divorce separation wow so that's for my fire, my Sagittarius dealing with fire signs. What's the energy for my Sagittarius dealing with earth signs? Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Sagittarius dealing with earth signs. Seven of Pentacles. So you planted seed here. You're waiting for things to manifest in your favor. Waiting for good news, surprise news, baby news. If not you, someone else around you. Eight of Pentacles. Nice. Um, waiting for a proposal, waiting for the opportunity to take things to the next level. The Eight of Diamond talks about marriage and travel later in life, uh, your fortune changing, um, a little up and down financially, but getting to st stability. You having to make a decision um, with the Two of Spades. Opposition is here, but you need to make a decision. Surrounding the king of diamond, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. And then here is you, the jack of club. 
you rushing in and offering something passionate. Offering love also. But this person may be a bit cold to, toward you. King of Spades. But still they bring you happiness. Ace of Cups. Yeah, there's a lot of passion here. They bring you happiness. They bring you joy. Even though um, at times they can be a bit cold. They may have air in their chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They may be a little bit, you know, stoic in a sense. What's the energy but with my Sagittarius and air signs? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There might be... Uh, Rapid communication, things moving fast in regards to trouble in relationship due to jealousy and or greed. Someone is either physically moving away, mentally checking out of a situation that had them um, in turbulence, in drama. Maybe due to the fact that someone was unfaithful, gave nothing but broke, gave promises only to break them. An ending is here, the death card, transformation, or an ending. But someone's still trying to hold on to the relationship. But this is a dishonest, disloyal person. Could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or this could be the air sign coming up as um, disloyal, dishonest. Or this could be you, Sagittarius. Um, you've been through a lot with this person. Um... It looks like you want to have a new boyfriend, new girlfriend, maybe with a uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, right? Ace of Hearts is here. New love and new friendship. You wished for this. You're devising a plan to get to this. Causing betrayal, hurt, and pain. Ten of Swords for your air sign. But you want new love and, and or new marriage. The universe is going to come in and help you possibly get that change of journey for you. In regards to your air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then here's you, King of Club. Queen of Club, Six of uh, Heart. Yeah, this could involve children. Um, you may feel like this is your soulmate or vice versa. But it looks like Sagittarius, you're trying to get somewhere else. Or maybe the air sign is trying to get somewhere else. There's a opposition here. All right, let's pull a butterfly oracle card for you. Thank you for the messages for Sagittarius. True, accurate messages. Gracefully aging for some of you. Messages for Sagittarius. Gracefully aging realizations and epiphanies keep with faith take the next step now and self-care all turned over for you uh pretty much self-explanatory take care of self put self first stop putting everything and everyone else first makeovers manicures pedicures pampering yourself in whatever or however that means uh to you or for you Take the next step now. You know what you want. You know what you want to do. You got to take the next step. If you're in a marriage that you want out of, take the next step. Keep the faith that things will work out um, in your favor. And realizations and epiphanies. You're getting signals, signs, wonders, numbers, music, songs. It's not coincidence. It's their epiphany, the spirit speaking to you, through you, gracefully aging. I don't know why I'm hearing this. I've heard this for another sign. It might have been for Sagittarius. Um, dress your age. I don't know why I'm hearing that. And, and if it offends you, I apologize. Maybe it's not for you. Maybe it is for you. I don't know. Dress your age. If you don't know what that is, you can always get a consultation, a wardrobe consultation at any department store. Um, you can also find someone who will do that for you, will uh, be your personal shopper. Uh, engage in self-care. This, These two go hand in hand. You're gracefully aging is taking care of yourself as you age. Uh, but 
I just heard dress your age. Okay, anyway, moving right along. We're going on to Capricorn. I'll be back with the messages for Capricorn. All right, we're back with the messages for Capricorn. All right, let's go. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for Capricorn. Capricorn's dealing with water signs. What are the messages for Capricorn's dealing with water signs? Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages. Whoa. The High Priestess, the Queen of Cups, the Star, the Devil, the Emperor, the Her the Hermit. Oh my gosh, so many major arcana. Yeah, one regular card. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer directly. It could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but Queen of Cups is typically Cancer. We've got the High Priestess here, maybe Pisces. Um... Wow. So this person really took you for a ride or you took this person for a ride. You may have had them in a third party situation at one time. They had to heal from this. They had to restore themselves and or vice versa. They had to get back in control. Either you did or, or they did. Go within and really figure out things for themselves with the hermit card this could be you too capricorn could be you and then you guys got to a, or, or at a place where you can even talk about love even talk about romance talk about rekindling because there's a lot going on secrets healing need to be done this is you cap um but there could have been you know codependency and addiction um that you need to get a that you needed to get a hold of and get a grasp on but it looks like um the, you got back to love that's a beautiful thing you went through a lot and then got back to love all right so my capricorn's dealing with fire signs Capricorn's dealing with fire signs, justice. Some of you may be outright divorcing um, or wanting justice and what was unfair with the Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Because you offered, or they offered, excuse me, there were messages of stability here. It didn't look like it got to an offer. Or maybe it got to the offer, but nothing really manifests because the relationship was, you know, it, it was, there was inequality here. This is a very arrogant person, male or female. There was inequality here. You've been through a lot with this person. Uh, there's the offer, the Knight of Pentacles. But it moves very slow. Like I said, I don't think it got to the offer or it got there, but it never manifests. Eight of Cups, someone decided to emotionally check out, physically move. Yeah, this is a physical move. Someone decided to actually phys physically move away from the relationship, physically move out of a home. If you shared home with a fire sign, either the fire sign moved or you moved, Cap. All right. Uh, my Capricorn's dealing with other earth signs. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Six of Cups. Children may be involved. They're nostalgic thoughts of the past. This could be a person from your past. You could feel like they're a soulmate. So there's so many different things. You, um, you look at them as, you know, an entrepreneur on top of their game. Attractive. Charismatic. Wow, Four of Wands. You look at them as someone who you can establish something with or, or vice versa. Someone you have a good time with, but then there's still secret and lies here. Half truths, just a bit of unknown. But the Wheel of Fortune is here saying that this is the way it's supposed to happen for you. Knight of Swords, but it looks like someone's rushing in and wanting truth. The death card is here. And they, after confrontation, either there's an ending with the Six of Swords. Someone moves away from confrontation and turbulence, but still is spying. 
and still is having harsh words. Wow. And then they get the absolute truth, maybe about the fact that this other Capricorn Virgo Taurus is already partnered, is in a marriage or is in something very solid. Wow. Yep. The lovers is here. They have to make a decision. Um, but it looks like Capricorn, you make it for them. You might take on the energy of the Queen of Swords and just cut them out. And do so in a very petty, kind of like trying to one-up each other type of way. All right. So my Capricorn's dealing with air signs. Temperance. Regain balance and composure. Either that's for you or the air sign. Knight of Cups. Someone is offering. I'm hearing a peace offering. Seven of Pentacles. Because you guys have known each other for a while. Seven months, seven years. Four of Swords. Um... Yeah, you, you you guys are on separation. You're trying to have strength and dealing with this person because there there are mutual feelings here. There's back and forth communication in regards to you, you know, taking the risk, coming out of the cold, choosing them, but then the tower shakes things up. Something unexpected happens. It takes you to the nine of swords type of energy to where you just want to leave behind this partnership because you're now the ten of swords. There'll be a new passionate start to make a decision. But once again, you go back to the past with the Eight of Swords. You go back to maybe a third party, yeah. But back to thinking that this is third party or knowing that it's third party. Some of you are consulting spiritualists, tarot card readers, psychics, because of the indecision within your mind. Because you're at the hangman status if you're dealing with an air sign. All right, let's pull a butterfly oracle card. All right. Thank you for the messages for Capricorn. True messages to help them. True supportive messages to help them move forward. Emotions. Body changes. Healing from the past self-employment we did have the king of wands here and the queen of wands here often uh well we have both of them come out self-employment um if you're thinking of it then do it if you've been thinking of it for a long time then manifest it write the plan make it plain and move on it some of you do need to heal from the past i see right here there's opportunity for newness with an air sign, like to start something new in an existing situation, but you, your mind keeps going to the past. Uh, body changes. For some of you, maybe you've had children. Some of you, you've had life happen to you. Your body has changed. Please acknowledge that change with um, physicians, dietitians, anyone who, or in that field, or acknowledge the change and acknowledge to either uh, do something about it or embrace the change. Emotions. Some of you, someone has stirred your emotions definitely here in the earth sign uh, sector. Um, do they, they need to make a decision. Either you Capricorn need to make a decision or they need to make a decision. Uh, emotions are here with water too. You've been through a lot. The emotions are still there. All right. All right. So those are the messages for Capricorn. Moving right on to Aquarius. Okay. And we're back to do the messages for Aquarius. Here we go. Let's go ahead and give her a quick shuffle. All right. Messages for Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius, people. Sun, moon, and rising. Happy birthday, Aquarius. Thank you, thank you, 
thank you for the messages for Aquarius. Aquarius dealing with earth signs. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn directly or in a codependent relationship. Princess of Pentacles, Five of Wands. We got the Devil, Princess of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Six of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, the world. Looks like there's an ending for some of my Aquarius dealing with Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn significantly. Some of you are actually physically moving home or moving away from turbulence and drama, arguing, fussing, fighting, petty arguing, um, surrounding the home. The world is here saying it's an ending. You've gone as far as you can go in this relationship. It's time for the energy to shift. Time for you to move to something else. You've also got the Princess of Pentacles here. So the message of stability is somewhere else. Now, if, if is that in relationship? We don't know. Um, but the message of stability is somewhere else. That could be in job. That could be, yeah, in career. Um, that could be within the, your family unit. You know, getting back to stability within your family unit. All right. Messages for Aquarius dealing with fire signs, six of cups, ten of swords. Some of you dealing with Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. You may have children with this person, or there are nostalgic thoughts of the past with this person. Vice versa, they could be having those thoughts of you, um, Aquarius. Uh, you may feel like they're a soulmate or vice versa, but there was a betrayal here due to secrets and lies, half-truths, someone just not being honest. messages for Aquarius that took you to the hangman status because someone had a decision, a choice to make in lovers with the lovers card here uh, Prince, Princess of Wands, they rushed in what did they rush in and offer? Let's see ooh they rushed in and offered nothing Six of Wands in reverse so there was no victorious ending here there's no victory for the Aquarius. Um, or they rushed in and they didn't get what they wanted from you, Aquarius. Ace of Swords. Yeah, like all you had to give was truth and clarity in the tower. You brought the tower down. And then an ending, the death card. All right, so that's what happened with the fire sign. Okay, what's going on with my Aquarius dealing with water signs? True, accurate messages for my Aquarius dealing with water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Ace of Wands. So there'll be a new passionate, driven start, possibly with uh, Cancer. Or there's a new passionate, some motivation to move forward alone. Um, the message... To move forward princess of wands the, the call to action to come out of the hermit stage uh for you or either for the water sign cancer pisces scorpio to come out of the hermit phase and let's see what do they do when they come out wow offer stability with the four of wands a relationship the Ten of Cups. And they may view you as the King of Pentacles, male or female. And they're willing to put the work into this with the Eight of Pentacles here. But it causes confusion, I think, for the Aquarius. Because there was a, a break here with the hermit card all right my Aquarius my Aquarius dealing with other air signs Gemini Libra Aquarius Aquarius dealing with other air signs Gemini Libra Aquarius seven of Pentacles you may have known this person seven months seven years you've put in some time effort you're waiting for things to manifest in your your favor 
Two of Wands. You have a decision to make. Which way do you go? Princess of Prince of Cups, but someone's offering love. Could be you, Aquarius. Typically the princess. The Prince of Cups is Aquarius. You could be offering love. Prince of Pentacles and the other person is offering something solid. Prince of Pen of Pentacles. So you're offering love and they're offering something solid, but still someone feels left out. But love and mutual love is here with the Two of Cups. Or someone has to cut something or someone out to get to the Two of Cups. Right. They have to make a fine. What did I say? Rebirth is here. Judgment. They have to make a final judgment call um, in regards to a relationship. Uh, it looks like a past relationship because judgment is here. Right. The Lord. Um, yeah, they have to make a judgment call. They have to get back in control or make a judgment call surrounding a very dominant Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, King of Queen of Cups is here. Sometimes it's Cancer. Because they're off balance. King of Wands. Um, the High Priestess, they're trying to check in with Spirit. It's causing them some really restless nights. Three of Wands. But this, the will is here. This was supposed to happen. All right, so Aquarius dealing with air. It looks good, but you have to make the decision to keep going um, in the partnership. Uh, you might have to make the decision to cut something or someone out. Gracefully aging, aging flipped out for you. Um, it looks good if you're dealing with a water sign, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio new career all right emotions all right so you have to address those emotions Aquarius you can't push them down address them put them where they belong process them and then deal with people if you're just dealing with people and hadn't processed the emotions then you get you know erratic and sporadic action and reaction some of you are embarking on a new career um pretty self-explanatory um gracefully aging pick up a new beauty regimen pick up a new beauty regimen um get a makeover get a manicure pedicure do something for self all right so those are the messages for Aquarius. And we'll be back to do Pisces. Okay, we're back to do the messages for Pisces. All right, let's give the cards a quick shuffle. Messages for Pisces, Pisces people, Pisces individuals dealing with earth signs, Pisces. Whoa. The Hierophant, you could be dealing with a Taurus. Eight of Pentacles. Someone's willing to put the work into a, an established relationship. Could be a marriage. Um, they're still offering love. They're very loving, open to to um, love, open to giving and receiving. Sometimes there is inner conflict. Um, Because sometimes they feel like things are off balance in the home because they haven't strength in dealing with the entire situation. In the past, there may have been a, maybe it may have been some uh, turbulence. I don't want to say you know someone walked out on the relationship, but it may have been turbulence. So the messages for my Pisces dealing with fire. Four of Wands, Eight of Swords. Some of you have a relationship established or you want to establish a relationship with fire or you already have one, but you go back to the past. You feel trapped, stuck. Nine of Swords, oh wow. It's only progressing here with an Aries or a very dominant person. You have children with this person. 
where you feel like they're your soulmate. But you're also having communication about the problems, the trouble in the relationship. At times you may feel left out or they feel left out, but you want justice. You're trying to manifest a new beginning. The world is here. Oh, wow. We have a the death. You're trying to manifest an ending and a new beginning. With a fire sign. All right. So my Pisces dealing with water. Cancer. Pisces. Scorpio. My Pisces dealing with water. The star. King of Pentacles. Some of you had to do some healing and dealing with... Uh, a water sign then the queen of cups queen of pentacles popped out so this may be a long standing relationship you guys are mirroring each other it's not water energy but it's pentacles so maybe you guys are a little bit more focused on um, material gain on career uh, home the five of swords you might be a little too focused on it to the point where there are arguments there are People aren't seeing eye to eye. There's indecision. The Knight of Swords is here. The Seven of Wands, the Hermit, and the Fool. Someone at one time or presently is thinking about, once again, I mean, it's the top of the year, so everybody's thinking about making a change, um, thinking about leaving, going on to a new development. They're standing their ground and how they feel about something about their truth with the Knight of Swords. And then the Seven of Wands, like they're not budging on this. And then they go into the Hermit mode to think, should I even continue? I'm tired. Wow. All right, my Pisces dealing with air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Pisces dealing with air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Six of Swords, Ace of Cup. You may be moving away from turbulence and trouble to find new love or a resurgence in an old love uh the sun is here saying that things are, are looking up things can be more positive look on the brighter side the ten of wands are is here lay down the burden that was whatever the three of wands is here this says um think about the future Two of Pentacles and you are in the Three of Wands. Once again, someone has or is contemplating leaving behind partnership. The Queen of Swords. This could be the air sign thinking of this. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Six of Pentacles. Maybe because the relationship is not equally yoked in terms of money. The moon is here. Could be dealing. This is you, Pisces. Uh, right. Ten of Pentacles, yeah. The Chariot. Ace of Pentacles. King of Swords. Four of Pentacles. So maybe you guys are moving away from the turbulence. Um, the moon is here saying that there's a bit of unknown surrounding what's already been established. The Ten of Pentacles. Maybe there's some unknown uh, with money. The Chariot is here saying that someone is willing to move forward and get to the ace of pentacles a new solid start with the king of swords um but yet four of pentacles is here someone else is still holding on to a queen of wands maybe this is the another woman a man what did i say and then the lover shows up there's someone in the in the middle of this relationship page of pentacles someone could be pregnant too ace of wands yeah hangman there's pisces four of sword yeah someone uh took a break from another party maybe to try to have a resurgence in what was already established but then they had somebody on the outside it's just all convoluted and crazy i'm so tired of giving the same message i swear i want all of us to get it together like be with who you want to be with or be single. This is getting absolutely ridiculous. Thank you for the messages for Pisces. True, accurate messages for Pisces. Messages of support and love. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages. 
the Pisces. Emotions. This is coming out for everyone. Retirement, health care change. Support and self-care. Nice messages. Retirement is not always retirement. It definitely can mean exactly retirement. But this also can mean a change, a shift in um, uh, your hourly uh, schedule. You know, you may have been working 40 hours a week. Now you may go down to 20 uh, because you're at a place where you can do that. Uh, retirement can just be a change in your in your work. Healthcare change. Some of you need to um, definitely have a healthcare change and look at uh, second opinions from other parties, other physicians. Healthcare change. Support is here. You do have support via the people who love you. Check in with them. Self care goes hand in hand with healthcare change. Care for yourself first. Put self first. Do not be vulnerable enough to put others first to the point where you're not caring for self. All right, so those were the messages for all my signs. If you feel like you want to schedule a personal reading, all of my information is below. Thank you, thank you, thank you for continuing to support me in this channel. Oh, uh, look at this. Okay, yeah. Um, it's been real. It, it really has. And um, I am... I'm tired. Okay? So, I'm going to take my tired self to sleep. I'm going to wash my hair and stuff. I take my tired self to sleep okay so yeah contact me for a personal reading if that is um on your radar if, if you're feeling moved to do so follow me on instago it's a new app that i'm using um where you can ask me a question or two and we can i can pull a few cards for you and we can figure things out in that manner if you need a full reading instago is not the way to go you'll end up paying for a full reading and that is not my doing um, follow me on Instagram. My handles are below. Uh, what else? What else? Fund the page. Choose to fund the page. Get us some new cards. Go to click the GoFundMe link. Put five dollars in there. It all goes back to the channel. What else? What else? Take advantage of the twenty-five dollar, twenty-five minute readings. Um, that's gonna stop pretty soon. All right, so remember, guys, um, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys. Bye.